And now, my friends, there is another important step before we proceed to the animation. We have to check every pivot point of every model as they play a vital role in animation because transformation tools are dependent on the pivot points. There are going to be two versions of the animation. The first one is going to include the animation of all furniture, while the second one is going to be about decoration. I've created the in-game folder for convenience and moved all decorations here. Let's select this armchair. The pivot point is here. If I want to change the scale, it's going to change like this because of the pivot point. I've not changed the pivot points in the engine, it's better to change it in 3D design programs. The reason for this is that the rub box in the Unreal Engine, when we do animations of the model in a sequence, in this case, the pivot point is going to go back to zero. These models have already been animated. The pivot points are where I've placed them. Let me mark the model that hasn't been added to the sequence. We can see that the pivot point is set to zero. If we want to animate that by just dragging it up and down, then we won't notice anything. But if we change the scale, then we'll see the difference immediately. And here the pivot point plays a vital role. We can move the pivot point in the Unreal Engine itself. Let me show you. Select one model, then right-click. There is a pivot section. Then set pivot offset here. If we click it, then the pivot point is going to move to the placement of the cursor, but only temporarily. That is why we have to lock the position. To do so, right-click again, Pivot, set as Pivot Offset. The pivot point is locked. You can also move the pivot point. To do so, select the tool Move, and press and hold a scroll wheel so that the icon of a hand appears. Then, using a mouse, we can move it anywhere. After we've changed the placement, right-click, pivot, set as pivot offset. If we change the scale, then it's going to change depending on its point. We are not going to add this model to the animation. I've shown it as an example. We're going to change pivot points in 3D Max and then export them from there. Now I'll open 3D Max and show you how to move a pivot point and how to do an export. 3D Max is open, all furniture here is going to be in the animation and its pivot points are in the right places. Before we create the animation, we have to visualize everything in advance and set the pivot points according to the future animation. For example, if we take the marble upper part of the coffee table then its pivot point is going to be in the middle and underneath it. If we move the pivot point to the side, then the animation is going to start in the following way. We have 100 frames. I turn on Auto key. In the beginning of the timeline, I set the scale to zero to make it not visible. Then press play.
In the last frame, I set the scale to previous settings. The keyframe appeared here. Now play. Here it is. It is animated depending on pivot. If a pivot point is in the middle, it then appears in the center. That is why pivot is important. Before we do an animation, we have to visualize it and how we are going to create it. Then we take it step by step. For example, we work with every wooden and textile part of the sofa separately. I mean the separate mesh, as it is shown now. The armchair goes separately as a whole mesh. The coffee table consists of two parts too, and etc. When we export things, we need the pivot points to stay in the right places. I use the script. You can find it on the internet for free. This thing should be ticked here. Then the pivot points stay right where we've placed them. To show you this, I take this part of the model and change its pivot. Click Center to Object at first. Look at it. It seems that there is some distortion in the model itself. We can notice it because of the additional access. Find Reset X Form. Reset selected. Then, if we place it in the middle, the colorful pointers will face the right direction. We'll move this pivot. In the front projection window, I move it down along the I axis and lock it. Done. Now let's export this object. As I've said before, this checkmark stays here and I create a folder on my desktop. Export it to the same place. Then I open Unreal Engine. Let's download the model. You can use drag and drop. It stays like this. Import all. The model is imported. I drag and drop it in the viewport. As you can notice, the pivot is where we wanted it to be. In my opinion, it's easier to move the pivot point in 3D design programs. That's why I advise you to do so. Now we need to put it in the right places. We find the material of this model and we set it. Then we move it to the right place. We can delete the previous model. This model consists of two parts because we baked this project. And we do the animation using Lumen. So if the model has several parts, we can combine Lumen in these two animations. So my goal was to say this before the animation. This model doesn't belong to the animation and was an example. That's why I deleted it.